Mr. and Mrs. Van Kemp. So, your son decided to entertain some of his friends yesterday by shoving a freshman's head into a locker. This was the Johnson boy? Yes, he broke the boy's nose. Because of our no tolerance policy, your son may face expulsion. You're gonna ruin his whole future over a little roughhousing? Rex, this was practically assault. Uh, Mrs. Stark, what Andrew did was clearly wrong, but in his defense, his mother and I are going through severe marital problems. Oh, is that relevant? Our marriage is disintegrating. Of course Andrew was acting out. He has every right to be angry. If Andrew's angry about you moving out of the house, then perhaps he should shove your head into a locker. All I'm saying is that we need to take some of the responsibility here. So does Andrew. Blaming his actions on our problems, which are not so serious, does not help him. Our problems are serious. Mrs. Stark, you handle this however you see fit. Bree, I've gone to an attorney. You're going to be served with divorce papers later today. You went to an attorney? Yeah, and a good one, too. Well, he better be good, because when I'm finished with you, you won't have a cent to your name. Bring it on. Perhaps detention is the way to go. What's all this about? You both know that your mother and I have been unhappy for quite a while. After a lot of soul searching, we've decided that it would be better if we got divorced. But whatever problems your father and I may have, it doesn't change the fact that we love you very, very much. I've got a question. Go ahead, sweetheart. Ask whatever you want. Can I live with Dan? I mean, come on, Mom. Let's face it. We drive each other crazy. Is, is that what you would prefer, Danielle, to live with your father? I don't really care as long as I have my own bathroom. Um, all this, um, wine has, uh, given me a, a headache. <laughs>